In Photoshop, let's go to Print. When the Print dialog box appears, let's make sure we have our correct printer selected. Under Color Handling, we're going to select Photoshop Manages Colors. Now under Printer Profile, we're going to select the corresponding profile to the media we're printing on. Let's set the rendering intent to Perceptual and be sure that black point compensation is checked. Now go into Page Setup. Now the Epson driver appears. Let's go to media type and select watercolor paper, radiant white. In the paper configuration menu, we can set our platen gap to wider. This raises the head height. Now for roll paper, let's use roll paper banner as it conserves more media. Under roll paper options, let's turn off the auto cut. Now we can hit OK, and we're ready to print. On a Mac computer, the first portion of steps is the same. Let's go to File Print in Photoshop. First we make sure we have the correct printer selected. For color handling, Photoshop manages colors. Under Printer Profile, where you're going to use the corresponding profile on the media we're printing. Rendering Intent is Perceptual. And of course, Black Point Compensation is checked. Now let's go to Print Settings. This is the same as Page Setup. There's a pull-down menu titled Layout right now. When you click on that, you'll see other options. Go to Printer Settings. Let's change the Page Setup, Roll Paper to Banner. Media Type watercolor paper, radiant white. Here there's no color management set because we have our profile selected on the first screen. Let's go back to that pull down and go to advanced media control. Here we'll set our platen gap to wider just as we did before. And now we can go into roll paper settings and we can turn the auto cut off. We're turning the auto cut off when we print canvas. Hit OK, and we're ready to print. 